Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Zesta Herbal Soap Skincare and Lifestyle. So, for those of you that have been following me, we have been talking about Plodder Soap advantages and disadvantages. We have already talked about the advantages in the last video, where I used a video of our physical training to talk about it. So, this is another video of our physical training. So, I'm going to use this video also to talk about the disadvantages of plodder soup okay so i'm not going to take too much time let's go straight to the point okay i might not be able to elaborate on them as i would love to so some of them i'll just mention them so some of the disadvantages of using plodder method is it um, requires a uh, high electricity okay you need a big gen and at times you need this mechano, this mechano gen, this big one. Because once you start and they take Nepal light, you can't stop. I said to the brain light, no. You must have a standby gen, okay? Then also the repairs. Because you're dealing with machines, you are always constantly having repairs. Either the crusher or maybe some welding or some lubrication or some repairs. Something like that, especially if you're machine has begin to wear off okay so and usually these repairs you have to pay for them that's another third one you have to pay for the repairs unlike manual that there are some repairs that with a little nail with little screws nails or some little strings to be able to do your repairs yourself but you must pay for most mostly you pay for the repairs that's the third one the fourth point is that it even even when you need help with it, it's not everybody that can just meet on the street and they will help you. It requires technical knowledge for the person to be able to help you. That's the fourth one. Then the fifth one is um, even as you require the technical help, we have this problem in Nigeria of getting unreliable technicians. Except if you get somebody that's dedicated to your machine, that's always repairing it for you. Changing hands, changing hands would tend to spoil your machines. As they say, too many hands spoil the brought. Is it not so? So we also have unreliable technicians. Okay, that's the fifth one. Then the high, it requires a higher workforce. That's the sixth one. Unlike uh, with manual, there are times just in the family, father, mother, children, or extended family, with plodder mostly you need to need help from outside at times with manual even only you can be managing your business as it grows you employ gradually but with plodder even from startup especially if you have a good plodder as i said that can give you up to 80 50 cartons a day 100 cartons a day you can't start up alone you must need help so it requires higher workforce so the seventh one is as i said earlier on you must have a standby stand by gen the eighth one is if if uh, you use soap nodules to make your soap soap nodules are held are, 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 are inferior to handmade soap because with soap nodules most of the time the glycerin has been removed okay it has been processed and the glycerin removed that's why the soap nodules will tend to be cheaper but with handmade soap everything all the goodness of the oil is in the oil okay so if you're using soap nodules with the um, plodder that kind of soap is usually less inferior more inferior i mean that's why you see most of them after making the soap they'll still start adding glycerin again okay but handmade soap that you make it with your own oils everything is intact then it requires a larger capital for startup that's the ninth disadvantage with plodder soap depending on your capacity you can start anywhere from 20 to 50 to 100 whatever but with plodder car you know you can't you are your startup capital is in millions i'm not talking about small plodder that will give you five or small five cartons or tiny plodder i'm talking about real plodder that will do correct work for you and you know when I, we are talking about plodder we mean both the crusher the plodder and the cutting table those three things are very important then the tenth um the tenth disadvantage is um it's not easy to manipulate the recipe for for um for plodder plodder doesn't use fillers like handmade 
okay and blood devil will compress the soap again more which is kind of like a disadvantage although not really a disadvantage okay so with plodder usually is the basic soap recipe plodder will take no more than maybe one or two fillers okay unlike handmade so that can add a lot of orishi rishi to your soap you can easily manipulate the soap to suit what you want okay but with plodder you don't manipulate like that then um you can't make fancy designs with plodder soap except if you want to take time and dedicate time in the mixing and in the proportioning and everything it's not that easy with plodder soaps that's the 11th disadvantage that's why you tend to see more plodder soaps coming with one color if they are green they are green if they are orange they are orange unlike you with handmade so if you want to make design that look like three back you can make you want to make design that look like flower you can make the day you want to change color you want to mix colors anyhow you can okay with plodder soap you can't do that then um, the 12th disadvantage is you cannot uh, make fancy designs which i've said that you can't handle it alone at commercial level at commercial level you must need help oh you must need help then number 13 you can't easily customize like for example handmade so somebody can come and say make so, so design for me that looks like a tree you can easily do make this this and that put name put uh, put this inside the soap put money inside the soap you can easily do that with handmade soap but not with plodder then um you have a higher spending overhead which i've already said it is relatively you need special machines that's the 14th okay so generally these are some of the disadvantages as you've seen we've listed about this uh, 14 the advantages we've already listed in the last video if you want to know you can watch okay so i would like to wrap up now in the next video we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of handmade soap but one thing i want you to know is this is my opinion okay this is my opinion that doesn't mean that machine made soaps are bad no actually they give you higher profit that is the truth they have give you higher profit but you also put in more is it not so you also put you spend more and you get more so with machines for example let's say they carry light and you are using strictly nipper if they bring night light in the middle of the night you have to stand up and do work <laughs> except if you're willing to use your gen okay so for now let's wrap i've wrapped up for this topic okay meanwhile see the soaps we made see the foam the soap is foaming well and um i hope you enjoyed the video okay that was the video of our physical training so if you're interested in any of our soap courses we have 16 courses all in all and i can assure you we are one of the best and one of the affordable if you are interested you can chat me up okay you want to join our online class we are available all the time you want to buy quarters we are available all the time so i'm zesta heba soap skincare and lifestyle i love you all take care of yourself don't give up make sure that you always upgrade yourself you always push you will all make it all of us will make it in jesus name amen Thank you and bye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fulano, how are you? Stand up. Stand up, I'm going to go. Stand up. I'm coming. Let me video this place. Well done. Stand up.